This is my Delta 1836 drum sander. And I'd like to take the vi a minute in this video to attempt to fix the bed. A lot of people have trouble with these beds. And I want to take it apart and fix it. So follow along if you want to see how I fix this bed. Alright, I'll just take a minute to just explain. I bought this drum sander used. I was looking for a drum sander and I kept checking Craigslist. I wanted to buy a used one and I just couldn't find one. And they were all too expensive. I might as well have bought a new one. Then this one popped up one morning for 150 bucks, and I jumped on it as fast as I could and when I got it home I see why it was 150 bucks. The bed wouldn't work, and they said it in the Craigslist ad. They said it was $150 because the bed wouldn't work. And I struggled with it for a while. I was ready to part it out and sell the motors. But finally it hit me, and I got it to work, and now I'm going to take it apart and fix it. So if you have one of these and you have this problem, maybe this will fix your problem. This is a Delta 1836 model. 31250. I don't know if you can make that out. 31 250 drum sander. They're all pretty much similar. So let's get to work on this thing. All right, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to loosen the belt up. That's another issue with these is the belt, but that's another story. Try and keep this thing moving along. I'll just loosen the belt up, get it out of the way a little bit. You might as well just figure you're going to have to take it apart. You can't work on that without doing that. The belt's very hard to track. I haven't had too much success, but I think it's the original belt, and I think it's stretched out, but. Uh, I've been running it for about uh, eight, eight or nine months and I haven't had no trouble with it. What happens is the table gets hard to turn. And once it gets hard to turn, you're headed for trouble. To take the bed off, belt bed off, there's four Allen wrenches, Allen bolts. You can take it off with just two. If you take it off with two, a bar will stay on there that you got to take off anyway, but we'll just take the bed off. Now I took the two larger Allen bolts out. I left the two small ones. It doesn't matter. You can take it out either way. Now I'm going to come around to the back, unplug the motor, and the bed should lift right out of there, and take the bed out. Now that'll leave you with the two bars. I'll take those two bars off, and after that I'm going to take the I'm going to take this side plate off and we'll pull the motor out. You might as well just do it. It doesn't take long. It's not that hard. Just from reading around, I gather that these things run good three or four years. Then the bed gets starts to get hard to raise up and down. Then it skips a tooth or two on the belt. Then the handle turns real hard. Then they break a tooth on the pinion, plastic pinion gears, and then you're in trouble. My pinion gears are good, and I hope yours are too, because I'm not going to get into that. If your pinion gears are broke, this video will still do you good, but you got to fix them pinion gears somehow. 
But I like this sander. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Just when I fixed it, I didn't fix it all the way. I got it going. Now all you got to do is loosen the three bolts, let it hang on the belt, and then drop the motor down and pull it off. That's about the hardest thing to this job. Give you a, give a quick overview of how this thing works. This crank turns this here. This is on a solid standard bearing. This doesn't move. Then the belt wraps around a tension pulley here, around around the tension pulley here, and that belt turns all four of these. And these are on pivot bushings. They just give it a little bit of a pivot just in case things do get off a little bit it doesn't bind but if it gets off too much it doesn't work so what happens is as it turns it turns each one of these and what we're going to do we're going to take each one of these off and I'm going to show you how to fix it before I take these off I'm going to get a quick shot up underneath there there's the stationary bearing with your pinion gears there's the belt wrapping around and then it comes out to this side and there's two bevel bushings on this side. I can get the light. And then there's the adjustment. So I'm going to take those right out. And we'll see what it looks like. I'm going to lo loosen my tension adjustment. And uh, I'll just pull the belt off, let it hang down there for now. And I'm going to take these off. If I can remember how I did it. You just pull that nut. Don't mix up your bearings. Put your bearings back on. Pull that nut. In order to get that out, you've got to hold this piece right here with a pair of channel locks or something and turn the nut. That's what holds it up on there. This one came out easy. Let's try this one. These two are coming out hard, so it's not easy doing it, but they, they shouldn't be super tight. They shouldn't be super tight. They should just be snug. I gotta get a wrench for that. Okay. That's out of three. Again, these bushing bearings don't do anything. They they move a little bit, but technically they really don't do anything. This one's a stationary standard bearing. It should spin free. And let's go over to the bench and take a look at these. Okay, if you made it with me this far, now we're gonna work. What happens is this sets in there on the bed like this and this basically floats on the bed 
this nut snugs up and this bed f floats on there so that it doesn't so that this turns everything now if you take this nut off you'll see there's washers here three washers the center washer is not a washer it's a bearing I'm sorry but the most important part was out of the frame but there's two washers and in between those washers is this bearing just a thin flat bearing that looks like a washer so if you got the idea we'll continue on and that's what it floats on those three float on that center bearing now I'll take a steel shot of this box but you can still buy the bearings you put your bearing in the center we'll put it all back together that goes on then your nut goes on and the nut is a locking nut so that it really doesn't it doesn't tighten up it snugs so that, that turn, when this belt turns, it, this stays still. The belt turns, this stays still, and it forces that thing to go up and down. When I first bought it, I couldn't figure it out. And I, I took it apart and put it back together. Finally, I found these. I soaked them up in kerosene and put them back in, and it worked better. And it worked fine, except it was still a little stiff. So I'll take a pic still picture of this box. I believe I bought these bearings at a play MSC, I think it was. I think if you Google the part number, it'll come up. Take our nuts off. Make sure you got your bearing in the middle. Send this up. Put your washers and your bearings. And this one up. It really doesn't have that much coming through there, but that's what it is. Now you take your... What I'm going to do is hold that. I'm going to tighten this nut. You want to make sure that spins easy. It doesn't. I'll put the rest of these in, and that's that's it. You want to make sure if you hold this part, and you can spin your pulley underneath, and you want to make sure that spins fairly easy. It's not binding. Okay, I'll put the, these other two in. Remember, don't touch your stationary bearing. Leave that right there. I'll put these other two in, and we'll do the adjustment. The next thing we want to do, we want to get the height. On all four of these, exactly the same. I use this. It's not the best. It doesn't set real good, but it just is handy. So you get the height on all four the same. <laughs> the same put the bed back in
climb in there and put the belt on. Try not to move anything. Uh. Alright, that wasn't too bad. The best way was to take the tensioner out and put the belt on. Then put the tensioner back on in. Everything feels alright. Except for that. Alright, now I'm gonna tension this up a little bit and it doesn't take much. And I'm just going to tap it forward. That's about where it was before. That feels pretty tight. It's still stiff. I don't know if that's too tight. Let me loosen that up a little bit. Put her back together, but I think we can close it out there. All I got to do is put the motor on, put that side on. It actually goes up easier than it goes down. Don't make that belt too tight. That may be what's even giving me the trouble. Pictures. I've gotten a lot of use out of this so far since I've had it for eight months, and I think it's a good it's a good sander. I think it's a good sander. A lot of people diss it, but if, you can, if they want to give you one, take it. Thanks for watching. Good luck. <laughs>